Well, hello there. So, as promised, I was curious, or I am curious, should I say, present tense. We got the 788 into Madeira on the second attempt, uh, but I think that was, that was quite an achievement. The landing rate was actually better than I gave myself credit for you. Um, it was 218, and you, you saw the pop-up. Um, I'd have seen it, but I was a bit too busy trying to sort the fact that it was very off-centre, but it's still perfectly fine. Uh, so actually, the touchdown wasn't too bad at all. Um, but I'm curious. Landing is one thing, because we burned off most of our fuel. Taking off is an entirely different one. Um, aircraft accelerate slower than they slow down sort of made sense. We can stop quicker than we can start. <laughs> that makes even less sense. Anyway, um, and equally, we are going to be heavy because we've, we've got enough fuel to get us back to Heathrow. Ooh, which reminds me, I will set up Fly Live, um, but we're not going to do the entire flight. Uh, we are literally just going to do the uh sid so the standard instrument departure um but why not have the data in there anyway uh let's see whatever i don't really care what a cruise altitude is supposed to be i'm not even going to look that far on the flight plan because we're not going to do the flight uh just the takeoff and the the climb out because it's quite fruity at uh Mallorca, at Mallorca, madeira um there we go okay cool there you go you've got all your, all your data at the bottom for those people who like that um so yeah i've used pfpx again i've done random load so uh we've actually got quite a bit of cargo um i can give you the numbers i suppose uh so we've got just shy of 13 tons of cargo 179 passengers our block fuel is 17.7 tons so let's go through and do the setup as if we were doing the full flight um so yeah oxygen's fine that's fine parking brake i suppose we can turn that on and then the co-pilot might start his uh start his chat i don't know so we'll do uh pause in it uh, ref airport is going to be LP um, Ooh, pardon me Port Madeira um, now FSX's gates weren't showing properly we're at A15 I think yeah so we're just going to use the GPS position so performance um, oh and it Every time it defaults to flipping pounds. Arg and blast it, American. I want kilograms. Why won't you remember that? In degrees C. Come on. SI units and all that. Not that we use SI units for anything else in aviation, so I suppose whatever. Uh, so fuel is going to be 17.77 tons. So 17. Point, oh, come on. So 17.8 tonnes of fuel. Our zero fuel weight, 150.3. Yeah, close enough. Um, cost index, PFPX set it to 70, but whatever. Uh, flight level 400, really, it doesn't actually matter because we're not going to get that far along. So that's our performance in it. Um, our weather is going to be... We'll find active sky so current conditions are five degrees 12 knots oh that means we can do the fun takeoff fun dabby dozy um so yeah we can do zero five we came in the other way uh for the landing which I didn't think was going to be quite as exciting. Holy moly, I think it was harder. Um, interestingly, so uh, nav data, that's fine, yeah, whatever. Uh, right, okay, so route request, uh, we're doing 
LPMA to EGLL, that'll do nicely. Thank you very much. Runway 5. Really, do you actually have to put 0 for Yeah, you do. Uh, flight number, yeah, why not? Made up flight number there. Um, and we can do that. So our departure is... Oh, so it threw me because it's the Goxy is a London departure. So, yeah, that, that threw me off a little bit. And we're going to be on the Degen. How lovely. So, uh, dispatch. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I've done it in the quality wings dispatcher anyway, so I'm assuming I don't need to do any of that. Uh, copy data, condition is dry, outside air temperature is, oh, it is 17 degrees. Uh, Q and H is 1014, 5 and 12, thrust, uh, we're going to go with optimum, but we're probably, and that's correct actually, uh, we're probably going to need toga. Yeah, these are very low. I thought this gives you the runway length you need. Apparently not. Well, we're going to cheese it. We're going to go for it and see what happens. So back over to PR. We will accept said data. And... Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. It gives you the runway length and stuff in there. And elevation and stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, so, checklist. Right. Let's keep this quick. I mean, we'll do it proper like. But, um, so, nav light can come on just to indicate that we are getting ready to start. Um, we've got all these speeds. Exiguous brake is the instruction standard reject procedures. Will the part be able to sit on the initial altitude? In the event of emergency return on 4 days of ATC, uh, we'll fly the airplane around the checklist and uh, report it with the uh, air traffic control company on the way and ask any questions. So we'll close up all the doors. And we'll fire up a poo. And we can see the APU intake gate has opened. That door's not quite closed yet, so passengers have fallen out. It thinks it's closed. Well, at least it's closing. No, it needs a bit of a nudge. Um, oh no, zero five isn't the fun takeoff. 
We've got we're going back out the way we came in effectively. Um, well, I, I suppose we did the go around yesterday, which includes this hard left turn. Uh, anyway, so that's not the end of the world, I guess. Um, right. Are the doors now actually closed? Yes, they are. Fantastic. That's what we want to see. So we'll have a quick look at the systems and we'll have... APU is on. Lovely. External power off. We don't need that now. Beacon on. that volume down a bit so you're not getting so much feedback. Gorgeous that view isn't that? Where are, you <laughs> Where are you taking us? <laughs> Lovely. Right, that can come on. Uh, so let's get our queue on. Um, so we want hectopascals, please. 1014 in the box there. Um, flight directors can come on. We're going to take ourselves up to 40,000 feet, but we're not actually going to get anywhere near there before calling it a day anyway. Um, heading, we'll take runway heading, which was, is it 054? This is really cool now that you can, oh, 050 on the nose, on the nose. Um, so checklist, so taxi, done. So before taxi, anti-ice, yeah, we don't need that. Recall. Yeah, we haven't got any fuel in the centre tank, so that's largely irrelevant. Um, we can put our transponder to TA only. Um, we can now check recall. Everything's good. A poo can come off. We don't need you anymore. Thank you for your service. Auto brake will go to RTO. Flight controls. Full left, full right, neutral, full up, full down, neutral, rudder, full left. I can just say it, full right, neutral. Ground equipment is clear. Yeah, whatever. Be funny. I'm going to remember the lights today. So taxi lights can come on. Is there anything else to do up here? No, there is not. Is there anything else to do down here? Yes, there is. We're taking flap five. Is there anything to do down here? Uh, no, there is not. We'll be on VNAV anyway, but it's just for argument's sake, set that. And let's give ourselves a bit of a throttle. I hope we've not fallen off the back edge of that cliff. APU Jenny off. All right. Yeah, I'll never remember whether you're supposed to leave that on or to take it off. Oh, look at the wing banks in there. That looks awesome. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Taxiing all over the shop. Oh, we're not too bad. Oh, I love it when the wings bounce like that because they're heavy with fuel. IRL, I mean. Beautiful. So, before takeoff checklist, flaps are set. Transponder coming on skis. Strobes coming on skis. All the likes, please. Thank you kindly. And on to the runaway we go. I genuinely have no, because I've not done the calcs, I genuinely don't know whether we can take off. <laughs> um, I think we can, because I mean, this thing accelerate, accelerates like it's got a rocket up its backside, but um, I don't know until you know. That turn was a bit early, never mind. So cool. Proper, properly love that. With the scenery as well. Nice to have scenery working well. It's probably the nicest. Well, it isn't though, is it? Because we're pointing the wrong bloody way. Runway verified. So I'm going to pinch as much runway as I can get away with here. Because I think we're going to need it. Mind you, it's 9,000 feet, so we probably aren't. It's, it's quite a long runway, in fairness. Well, I've not done a very good job of turning there, have I? Right, I'd love to be able to do a different view and the like the engine view for takeoff, but I just don't think I'm going to be able to do it. All right then. Okay. I suppose I can do it for a bit. As I say, the thing is, each time I click on chase plane, it kills the same. Wing banks in there, look. Uh oh, center line. Uh, uh oh, now chase plane's crapped itself. <laughs> right, ignore that bit. Right. No funky views, I'm afraid. Okay, committed to take off. That wasn't a very good rotate, but anyway, it'll do. Our chase plane's just completely cracked out. And immediately start our right turn. Be careful of the wingtip clearance. Oh yeah, chase plane's really died on. Why is, why is chase plane completely crashed? Yeah, I've lost all my uh, chase plane controls. Hang on, I'll just restart chase plane. Oops. Ah! I can't pan the camera at the moment, it's driving me nuts. And I can't, so I can't, I suppose I can mouse yoke. Right, we can do that on the joystick. There we go, we got it back. Chase plane's fired in again. 
Lovely. That side or that side? Yeah, no, that side, don't we? Slack's coming up. Clipping through the engine pylon. Nice. Well, bar my, that's it, inability to stay straight on the runway whilst. Uh, looking on a different view, well, that was rather uneventful. Which is pretty much what you want. There we go, flex is starting to come up, that'll get much more, oh yeah, that looks, that looks ace. Uh, I want, what do I want, hang on. Let's just button bash through the, uh, through there until I find a good screenshot. That would be good if I could go up. That'll do. That'll do for the thumbnail. <laughs> Uh, save. Nice. Well, that's it, really. It's, it's also pilot all the way now. Um, so, hope you enjoyed. Uh, prove we can do it. So, that opens up um, some flights we can do. Unfortunately, they're not BA real world flights. Uh, they're in an A320 and to Gatwick. Um, so, I can't log it with BA virtual. Um, but, yeah, that was good fun. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one.